I hate this. God, I really thought he was about to shoot a shot. She's gonna marry Dwight at our wedding. Hi. Hey, what up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you a little bit of The Office, season five, episode seven. Customer Servoy. So bad. Servoy. Hey. Here's a survey for you all. How are we doing? How are you doing? Would you consider subscribing to the channel? Would you consider supporting us on Patreon to allow us to do what we do? Yes. And in return, we yes. give you yes. a plethora of early okay. access episodes. Plethora. I'm Serge. I'm Pat. I am Mickey. I am a Market Survey. I'm Spidey. Ooh. I'm King of the Diamond Dogs, Chris and Johnson. I had a lot of coffee, and I just want to jump up and down like a monkey <laughs> on this couch. And we want to dunder your I thought you weren't Mifflin. drinking coffee anymore. No, no, well, no, no, that was a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. I feel like Andy right now. Allegedly. <coughs> Allegedly. This you motherfucker know. says the king of diamond dogs, he doesn't watch Ted Lasso. What? Poser. No, I watched Ted Lasso. Poser. I thought you said diamond dogs. I you did say diamond, diamond dogs. You don't even oh. like soccer. Isn't that what? Metal Gear Solid? No, man, Roy Grant. Roy Grant! Say his name right! <laughs> There was, there was a diamond dog. Chris ain't shit. Five. <laughs> I actually thought hey, that You guys ever take the customer survey? Uh, no, every time they give me one of those customer surveys, I throw it right into the trash. I look the, them directly in the eye and say, I refuse to do your customer survey because I fuck you. The only two times I do it is when the uh, service is exceptionally bad or exceptionally good. Yep. Mm -hmm. if you're just, I do it when it's good. Yeah, if you're just doing your job, then, you know, go about your day. If it's bad, I've got other things to do. I mean, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, see, I get petty. Well, here we go. We're, let's get <laughs> into this petty. and see who's that petty. <laughs> Not a market substitute. <laughs> 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 uh, if you do do a customer, if you do complete a customer survey, give them all fives. Give them perfects. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Also, all... Or if you hate it, give them all ones. Also, all companies out there with call centers in India, can we just let them be honest about their names? Right. You know? <laughs> I know, when they say like, oh, hello, Suraj, I am Steve. 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 That's so funny. For is it racist one? that Kelly's in customer service? <laughs> <laughs> hey, sports. I heard Not sports. Huh? What? Did we miss an episode? Nothing can hurt you now. You're a man in love. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh what? My oh my god! Oh my god! Dude is not engaged. <laughs> okay. I'm not a big believer in therapy, but I go into my own pockets, covers, coke. That shit. We would never do. Why would you lie about this? Michael, I got my bridesmaid's dress. Oh my god! Why does she always want to be a bridesmaid? Color I wanted, so I picked white. Why? <laughs> Oh you know damn well you shouldn't be wearing white. No, not what? yet. Mom? Love your yeah, mom. I do. Oh, I don't want to do that. 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 I don't want to Yo, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> These cold opens, some of them destroy your soul. Caller, 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 caller. Have you ever been caught in a moment like that where like you lied and the group believed you and they were telling you to do something? Oh, no, not at all. I avoid <laughs> those situations by not lying. Yep. That was a customer service. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's the receipt to my bridesmaid dress. <laughs> 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 Wait, it's our dusky, exotic... Dusky? dusky. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even know what that means. Contact our clients. Like do not, it doesn't feel good. Dust. No, that would be dusty. Part of a Kapoor's list. Dusty. Chandler's list parody. Oh my god. That's not appropriate. Oh, oh look, you the learned. You learned a little. Our bonuses. Kinda great for me. Pam's a gold digger. <laughs> you are free. Back to work. It's the world's tiniest Bluetooth. So it's gonna break in like two, two hours. Mm -hmm. We want to stay on the phone all day, but oh the company God. has a policy against eight-hour personal calls. What do you want on your coffee? Sprinkle of cinnamon. Huh? That guy, that guy likes her, right? right. Well, that's the first time we've seen him, right? No, we've seen him before. No. Why your feedback is horrible? <laughs> Wait, is this a joke? Do you look like you are laughing? Impossible to say. I can't see myself. <laughs> not. Tommy Tuna. Did you get your scores yet? Nope. I got mine. They were really good. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's my mug. Sorry, I was just... If you could pour it out and get another one. I kind of get that one. It has a face on him. I've seen one of you use my Hunter Hunter mug with my face, and I'm like... <laughs> Make the face. <laughs> that is my face. <laughs> How was your meeting with Michael? None of your business. Was it your scores? I'm being sabotaged. Of course. And I'm gonna find that person and punish them. I think those could be accurate though, because Dwight is kind of abrasive. <laughs> You're an idiot. There's the charm. Jimbo, <laughs> let's do this thing. Let's do the thing. <laughs> luck. No way. Good luck. Thanks. I love you. I love you too. What do you think I'm saying to you? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I found the best tentist on the East Coast. Okay. He personally tented Giuliani's first and third weddings. Mm. That aged well. Would you, you be able second? to do the same design but with walls of gray? <laughs> oh, come on. Just no color. What? You too? Jim, they are poopy. <clears throat> Jim? <laughs> Jim Albert is smudge and arrogant. I think you mean smug. Arrogance. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just trying and to... there's our smudgeness. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a decent bonus because I'm actually in the process of buying my parents' house. Boy, what? And if history tells us anything, it's that you can't go wrong buying a house you can't afford. <laughs> Pam, sorry about that. <laughs> I lost you for a second. I may not have done so hot on my customer reviews this year. Maybe it's because you spent the whole year flirting with the receptionist. Womp womp. Worth it. <laughs> I am going to have to fix you a a more micro form of management. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> micro treatment. Boom. Micro treatment. Right, you're going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Hello, this is Dwight Schrute from the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. <laughs> really, that's your real name? Dare you. <laughs> my family built this country, by the way. <laughs> oh, Dwight, please. Oh, yes, Michael. You hold on one second, that's my other one. What? No, but I... No, I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. <laughs> Probably just gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. Okay. Michael. It's up to you to change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying... Sorry. Mr. Mike. Mike. It's a little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. Lower. Son, you have Start to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I son! Buttmaker! Our prices have never been lower! Okay, stop it! <laughs> you never yell at the client. Now Never you listen to me, me, sir. Three words I would describe you as is aggressive, yes. hostile, and definitely difficult. <laughs> I'm irate phone. right give now. Me the, give me the phone. He's irate. Give me the phone. <laughs> this is like the funniest guy. <laughs> it's Michael Scott, regional manager. Michael, I like the sound of your voice. I'm gonna buy one million dollars worth of paper products today. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's done. <laughs> oh my god! There is one condition, Michael. Yes. And Dwight's so salesman that treated me so terribly. Don't do it, Michael. It's a million dollar sale. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it. I don't want to be married in a tent like a hobo. Oh <laughs> god. What is this? Is like what? six non refundable deposit? You can have your tent, but only if it's in a field, a hand plowed field. There has to be a barn. You can see the stars through the roof slats when you lay on your back. Shoot farms. And antique tools to look at when you roll over. What the hell? But anything within a five to eight mile radius is acceptable. <laughs> on it. Oh my God. I hate her. No. <laughs> Bro. Oh shit. No. <laughs> oh, cute shoes on. How many shoes do you need? Two, maybe three if one wears out. <laughs> How many shoes do you need? I'm not talking to you. Who are you talking to? Pam. She's not here, Jim. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you poor soul. <laughs> now you found yes! Troop Farm. Oh. I found it. I have an in with the owner. It's Dwight Troop. <sighs> Lord have mercy on his As soul. As in Troop Farms. Is this what she wanted? She wanted yeah. him to buy Troop Farms? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put me down for, um... Wait, shut up. Do you hear that? Who's there? Kelly, is that you? Left. <laughs> <laughs> I need paper. Is there anything interesting? What are you talking about? Uh, I think you know. You always say that, and I almost never know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head back to the desk. Yeah, you just can't come into my nook and call me stupid. There is a massive conspiracy going on here, and I know you're involved. It was Kelly. Dwight, get out of my nook. I think. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone looked at Pam like, what the hell? I think corporate wants them not to get good reviews so they don't have to give them bonuses because they don't have money. Uh, uh, Dwight, by the way. Yeah, he's weird. 
<laughs> hey, how are you and Daryl? Oh. Uh, cool. Bye. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kelly doesn't want to talk. That was weird. Kelly doesn't want to fucking talk. <laughs> Did you do something to her? I think so. There is a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. Oh, I like this episode. Hey, how's things? All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. I always forget he's here. reason to believe that Kelly would be mad at me. Oh, I don't play the politics game anymore, Jim. Get out of here. Can I tell you what else I learned? Why does everybody have that? <laughs> oh, yeah, Kelly gave them out his party favors. Mm -hmm. They didn't show up to a party. <laughs> he's got talent finale party over the summer. I'm wearing a talent. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Um. <laughs> <laughs> get Dwight, get Dwight, it's real. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Does Dwight have one? Let me see your coffee cup. Why? No. <laughs> okay. I think it was Kelly. You were right. I was I was right. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! the, what the fuck was that? What? <laughs> Let's get her. Oh my god! <laughs> Once again. Let me paint you a picture of a little girl from southern India. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a beeper and a cell phone. I was informed by these gentlemen that the reports that you filed may not entirely be accurate. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first that I'm hearing about this. Oh, come on. She cooked the books. Juke the stats like the wire. Uh, yep. Kelly. <laughs> I was raped. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. What? Not again. Don't keep doing that. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times have you done that? Oh my god. Oh, that's so on brand for her. Right, Kelly. Whatever, just so fire. good. Or... But you know what? I did it because you guys didn't come to my party and you said you would try to and then you didn't even show up. What? Have our confession. I'm calling Stone. Don't, don't get away from that, Dwight. You do have a problem dealing with people. Jim, Dwight, please. Does Michael have a cup? But I want to be here when you fire her. I will house. call you when it is time. Damn, Michael's stepping up, having difficult conversations with people, giving I people orders. Have an enormous amount of trouble trying to get people to come to me. <laughs> is, is he asking for advice? <laughs> How much leftover guacamole? <laughs> we are going to sit here for a while, make it look good. Can you make yourself cry? Of course you can. I think you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Sam Beasley? Cuomo? What's this hey. guy from? Who's that? Uh, I can to kidnap you. There's free wine and cheese at the Chuck Close retrospective. I have to work. Well, actually, there's something else I'd love to talk to you about. Oh, no. Oh. no, no. Can we go somewhere else? Bro knows she's engaged. Does he? Is she wearing a ring? Uh, she is I indeed think. wearing a ring. I and they're friends. He should know. Pat don't give a fuck, though. And I want to tell you that I think that you should not move back to Scranton. Jesus. Wow. He is into you. You know, you can't do New York in three months. Hmm. Three and months is a long time. Opportunity is here. You know, it'd be nuts to go back to Scranton without getting Jim to this is right. Experience. It's only two hours away. He's kind of... Jim's in Scranton. If there's even a teeny tiny part of you that really wants to be an artist, then I think you should stay here. Bro, you drove to my work to d do this? Right. This could have been a... Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. God, I really thought he was about to shoot a shot. I think mean, he, he just tried. did, didn't he? I mean, that was a minor awful. shot. Right. <laughs> it feels like it feels like there's an agenda there. <laughs> feels like he's yeah. talking, and then she mentions her fiance, and he's, he's like, like, "I, I should I, back." I, but he's kind of right, though. Is that the Matsuhashi B400? Oh, <laughs> Congratulations on choosing Shrewd Farms for your wedding. We're still reviewing some options. She's gonna marry Dwight at our wedding. It's gonna mm -hmm. come down to the numbers. In addition, <laughs> oh my God, what the, the beauty fuck? And smell of Shrewd Farms. And be at your constant disposal. Oh my! Please. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. It's very generous. This wedding is officially out of your hands. Oh, thank the good Lord. <laughs> Deal. Okay. <laughs> thank the good Lord. Pam, whatever he wants. Uh, Can't argue with that. <laughs> oh! Our angels really got her than uh, Kelly. All right, here's about to be the worst thing I've ever You're said. Make us so happy. Well, what? <laughs> When Andy comes in here and shoots these two, it's gonna make a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be the last one. Oh man, episode. is that the last one we we're doing for today? Yeah. yeah. This one is so good. When Andy pops in there, and he's just like, plow, plow, they know what they did. I'll be like, no, no I'm being the car, right? It's just, this is a really good uh, part of just the whole series. Like,
Anyways, oh, yeah, that was a good man. episode. To say Kelly cooked the weapon. books. Bro, what Kelly, the fuck? bro, right? How it immediately that? goes to I was right. Like what? How is Kelly? She, how is she control of the customer service? No, she just she just I changed she, it. She's the rep, but like how, how that that's fucked up, man. Yeah, like they that's said, oh, they did a good fire. job, and she said okay, and she wrote down did poor job. That's was a fireable asshole. offense. <laughs> Michael yeah, like, it right? is. Oh, Michael's he's a he's making better decisions now. Like, it, let's it, just let's just sit here. <laughs> yeah, right. no. I wonder if he actually. Punched I mean, kind her. of. She know. should. She should be like a little bit. She has to be. She, there should be some consequence yeah. so she learns a lesson. You can't jump to I her got raped and exactly. Exactly. And there's multiple yeah. times she's done that. More, More than, than once. once. That is so funny. She's and like, you're cooking the books based on personal reasons. <laughs> but like that would explain anything. But hang on, know. hang on. If you if you went through the trouble of making custom coffee mugs for all your friends because you assumed they were definitely for sure gonna be there without asking them first. No, she <laughs> made it after they came probably. <laughs> no, they, no, RSVP, they got them at the party. Those were, those were like the door prizes. Uh, <laughs> well, then what you do is is you make those two for Andy and or for Andy for uh, Dwight and for Jim. Jim, and you give them to them and you guilt yeah. trip them. Like a normal person, <laughs> you don't ruin their bonuses. Well, I made this. Yeah, it's affecting and... someone's life for literally a personal reason. Like, no, she yeah. needs to be fired. Also, <laughs> Jim's buying the house for his parents so they can retire. What fucking year was this? That yeah, that absolutely. sentence for somebody who makes as much money as Jim uh, is the most this is fucking early two thousand shit I've ever heard in my I th- life. I think this is still pre housing bubble crash. Yeah, that. Uh, what well, the he fuck, bro? Two thousand eight. This... Yeah. No, the bubble crash was two thousand eight. But yeah, just I mean, like he, he, he referenced it, he said, "When did it ever go bad that you would buy a house that you can't afford?" Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe he's there. I just, yeah, I want, how I, much money does he make? Five. How much money did their house cost? How was he retiring his parents? Well, he's his not parents, balling like that. House. His parents probably bought the house but a long, long time ago. He's top salesman. And yeah, I mean, if he puts down a. Yeah, you know, little Boys, deposit and then pays them. Maybe, maybe the they still driver. got like a, you know, like, maybe like he's gonna maybe like find 100, 100 grand name. left on it. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, I think he's gonna be a first time homeowner. I, I, I used to have that dream of like wanting to retire my parents. I mean, and I still like, do, but I need to make like them damn, so they did. 100 million, right? Like, and then, <laughs> and then yeah. life happened. <laughs> Remember Vima, bro? Yeah, I want to retire my parents. Would you like to retire your parents? That's why I do Vima. I wish I was there to slap the shit out of all of y'all. Man. I wish you were too. Yeah, I wish it wasn't too. our fault. A smarter adults than us. I want Successful adults were gotten. I want to say this. Uncle, an Indian it's uncle. Hey, on camera, I was rich, dating this girl rich named families that didn't need any more. They got got and they got. I us. was dating this girl named Mia at IUPUI, and she was looking for a job, and she was like, "Hey, you're friends with AJ, and he's doing Vima," and that's all she said. And I said, "No." <laughs> she said, "I didn't even know what Vima was." She was like, Come "AJ," on, and I was like. Like, no, don't fucking do it. Like, that, I love oh, AJ. Yeah. Don't take don't take whatever advice he's giving you about this job. Don't do that. Come hey, on, man. Even if you did <laughs> slap us, the, 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 we were so far ingrained. I, I that was say, the energy drink, right? Yeah. We so far ingrained, they would have been like, How long that, that's you fine. Do dude. It? If you want to fucking make money, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's on you. Didn't you want to be part of the hashtag YPR? The Young People Revolution? <laughs> 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 yeah. Young People Revolution. <laughs> Oh my that God. is legit. <laughs> oh my How long God. were you guys doing it? Oh, like, like, oh, not until I found out like that the little, dad bought the BMW less than for a her. A little less than a year. Yeah. Yeah. She never lot. actually earned the BMW oh. through the program. It was bought by her rich parents. So oh, it's safe it, to say that if you guys ever make a TV show, that it'll take place just at Vima. Yeah. There'll be an episode about that it. That would be solid. Definitely. I remember you guys trying to get me in on you know that whole, shit. And <laughs> that was so funny. You know the whole car program, by the way? They never give you a car. Like, you always have to put it in your own name, and they only give you, like, a five. Hundred dollars stipend. So if it's a seven hundred dollars payment, you're still you're like it's not a. Yeah, it's but also never, bleep never got a car. Yeah, her dad I mean, yeah, bought it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this is, this is like an unspoken thing of like Indian culture that you you trust like an exactly. elder Indian uncle, especially yeah. he has a good we got job. God. He makes this yeah, thing of money. Like very we well got off God. Indian uncle mm. said that this was yeah, a no and we were like they're fucking doing it. We're fucking missing out on something. Yeah. There's no and fucking. His son, way. Is, his son is super <laughs> smart too. There's no fucking yeah. Exactly. exactly. Like, like, he was the best of us. And it was like, <laughs> he was the best of us. Like, if he's doing it, I'm definitely fucking You're up. The there's no, there's no the way. Indian people. He was the best of us. No. That I have with black yeah. uncles. <laughs> Look, black you uncle have to do some shit like you that. You've heard little bits and pieces of this so Oh, much. I would we love to. Dude, I watched anti-MLM content. I, I can break that shit down. I can break it down. I, I, I can psychologically tell you step-by-step step exactly what happened to us. I can tell. Anyway. 
<laughs> Andy, I hope he. I'll really do better, Andy. Now, I, I really mm-hmm. hope he gets and, out. Without, of without a doubt, someone else is getting married at Andy's wedding. Keep in mind. Keep, keep, keep in mind. Consummating. Keep in mind. He already made like six non-refundable deposits to like. Ta- he's ten grand in the hole. He's at least ten grand in the hole. No, more than that. Like it's probably like ten grand a piece. Like he's like he's at least fifty grand in the hole. And then we get Shroot Farms a blank check. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you out of your fucking and you mind. know, you know he gonna take him to oh the cleaners because he's already fucking he's his right. fiance. He's gonna be a million dollars in the in the hole. I you just, know, you know, when I was watching the show for the first time, I don't remember this story. Like, like when I'm watching it with you guys, I'm like, God, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so. I feel like this is Angela letting him know that she made the choice for him. But then make the choice, which is why I think you know she's not gonna go straight up with it. It's, you better not give her I hate dick. Angela. It's either all the dick or no dick. <laughs> He's going to guarantee give her the Bro, dick. you know what's going to happen? Andy's going to get in there one time and be like, this shit tastes like beets. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I bit into one the other day. I know. Oh, fuck. Right. <laughs> uh, it's going to be beet around the bush. Oh! Yeah. Uh, uh, you're fired! <laughs> you're fired! That's the hashtag for the wedding. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Beating around the bush. Oh, no. <laughs> Lord. Oh, God. Oh, well, gang, mm. it's time to bid farewell. Uh, uh, good that Daryl would pay for the copay for my. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> believe in it. But <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 I want to watch more. Lord. Uh, I want to see more, yeah, though. Thanks for joining us for another episode of The Office. Shout out to our patrons, Cortez, Matthew Taylor, Raga Gopal Krishna, Hashim Yusuf, Anthony Hardy, and Joe Mags. And thanks to everyone that continues to support us. It's a big help. And we'll see you next time.